Okay, this lesson dealing with albedo and the greenhouse effect uh, applies into our uh, whole idea about the atmosphere. Uh, we've talked about the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, you've listened to the song many times now, I'm sure. Uh, you'll probably be able to sing that song from the top of your head. We also talked about pressure in our atmosphere. We talked about the different layers of our atmosphere. Albedo and the greenhouse effect are the things that kind of affect us on a daily basis. Um, think about this, and I'm going to ask you to pause the video, uh, jot down in your notes an answer to this, and and then uh, restart the video uh, and see where your answers fall in line here. But uh, what two things can happen to the energy once it's entered into our system, once it enters into our atmosphere? What are two things that can happen to that energy? So pause the video. Now for those of you that paused and wrote down, you need to check your uh, uh, answers again here and see what you wrote down. But the first thing that can happen to it is it can be absorbed. It can be absor absorbed into the clouds. It can be absorbed into the land. It can be absorbed into the oceans or into water. Um, clouds can absorb all the, or a lot of that energy. And the second thing that it can do is it can be reflected off the clouds, the atmosphere, the oceans. Uh, that energy is either going to be absorbed or reflected. That's basically what you wanted to get out of that. Um, now, as far as this visible light that comes in, that's one of the seven things, uh, forms of energy that the sun uh, provides for us. Um, it is either absorbed or it's reflected. Um, 30 percent, and that's a pretty good number here, 30 percent of the sun's energy enters the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, and it never reaches the surface of the Earth. It either bounces back or it's reflected off of the clouds. Uh, some of it uh, gets absorbed into the clouds. Uh, some surfaces, especially those that are really light in uh, color, uh, such as snow and clouds and sand, uh, they reflect a lot of that energy back. The term albedo, which is our main point of this whole lesson, uh, is how much visible light energy something reflects. Uh, something with a high albedo reflects a lot of the energy. That's that light color stuff. That's the, the snow, the clouds, the ice. Uh, items that have a low albedo uh, absorb a lot of energy. So those are those darker colors. Uh, so uh, if it absorbs energy, if it absorbs energy as a low albedo, uh, those are the things that are going to heat up a little bit more. Um, if it has a higher albedo, um, it's going to reflect most of the energy, so it's going to stay cooler. Uh, so if summertime comes, you go out and play uh, soccer or baseball, and you have a light-colored uniform, uh, you're going to stay cooler than if you had a dark-colored uniform, uh, because the light-colored uniform is going to reflect the sunlight's energy, uh, not causing you to heat up as much, whereas a dark-colored uniform it's going to absorb that energy, uh, and you felt that before. If you've gone outside on, on a sunny day, if you're wearing a dark colored shirt, uh, the shirt feels warm. Um, if you're wearing a light colored shirt, it doesn't feel as warm. Here's a satellite image of, of the Earth, and you can see all the snowy areas here and the sandy areas right here in, in uh, Africa and Australia and parts of uh, uh, China and Saudi Arabia and, and the Middle East here. Now, if you correspond that to albedo ratings, um, the areas that are dark green right here and here, if you go over here, these areas have a um, lower albedo. Uh, it's the areas like the Sahara Desert here and all this snow-covered area, all this red area, uh, that has a higher albedo. Uh, because uh, light's being reflected off more. More of that energy is being reflected off, and that's what albedo is. It's the measure of uh, how much light is absorbed or uh, reflected. Now, in this right, uh, this animation, we saw this before, we've seen this before. We talked about the energy coming in from, us in this, from the sun, and 30% of that energy never even reaches the surface of the Earth. So 70% gets through, 30% doesn't even get there. It's either reflected off the atmosphere, uh, or it's absorbed in the atmosphere, or it's reflected off the clouds, 
uh, are absorbed by the clouds or um, if it does hit the surface, then that's the point that gets absorbed by the land and absorbed by the ocean. Um, now, the energy also gets carried back out and sometimes gets carried and gets stuck in the clouds. Sometimes it's directly right back out into space if there's no clouds in the atmosphere. So um, the energy from the sun does those two things. It either reflects off or it gets absorbed into. Now, what do we know about the greenhouse effect? Uh, most people know that a greenhouse is a, it's a glass building that you, people can grow plants in, even in cooler weather, because the sun's energy comes into the glass and heats up the inside of the greenhouse to a temperature where plants can grow. Um, if you turn in your book on page 520 and 521, or if you go into the book online on page 520 and 521, um, you, you're to read about the greenhouse effect. Um, now, with that in mind, uh, there's a lot of heat, a lot of, heat of information here. Uh, pretty much most of it can go into your notes. <clears throat> Gases in the atmosphere include carbon dioxide. Uh, water vapor is another uh, thing that's in our atmosphere. Well, these guys absorb a lot of the heat energy. Uh, clouds absorb the energy. Uh, and um, when they absorb that energy, they send it out in all directions. Well, to one of the directions is back into space, and one of them is towards the Earth's surface. The greenhouse gases um, that absorb all this heat, well, actually, the gases in the atmosphere that absorb those heat are greenhouse gases. They include the water vapor. They include the carbon dioxide. What they do is they keep the heat near the surface of the Earth. Uh, if they didn't, all the heat would escape out into space. We'd freeze to death because it would be just so cold. We need greenhouse gases. Um, we need it to keep us warm enough to survive. Now, if you get too much of the greenhouse gases and we keep too much heat near the planet, then our planet heats up. Uh, and then that's not a great thing. Um, so the ideal amount um, holding the right amount of heat on our planet is called the greenhouse effect. Um, what could the effects of the uh, trapping those greenhouses be? Uh, greenhouse gases, well, on page 527, if you turn there, um, they'll talk about how, on 526, they'll talk about how humans increase the greenhouse gases and the idea of global warming. Uh, that's a that's a tricky situation here because a lot of people, uh, some people believe in it, some people don't believe in it. Um, we do all have an effect on our atmosphere because we do all create uh, gases and greenhouse gases. Um, so uh, I'm going to leave that up to you to decide after you read those pages uh, what your thoughts are on that. Um, and once we get that, when we start talking about all the, the uh, um, moisture in the atmosphere, the vapors, the carbon dioxide, uh, we start getting into the concept of weather um, and climate. And I want you to read this question, jot down in your notes what you think right now um, the difference between weather and climate is. Uh, and then pause the video here uh, and you know, jot down your ideas uh, and then we'll talk about it. So pause it. Um, now your answer and your notes may not be as um, as exclusive as or uh, not exclusive, as extensive as this, but um, some areas hold more heat than others. Uh, we know that uh, near the poles, it's a lot colder. Uh, they reflect a lot of that uh, energy because of the snow. Um, other areas, like rainforests and oceans, they're darker. They're, they, absor uh, they absorb more of that energy. They have lower albedos. And um, once they absorb that energy, they get warmer. Well, this uneven heating, some areas are warm, some areas are cold. This uneven heating has an effect on our land and our atmosphere. Uh, we talk about the difference of temperatures and humidity and cloud cover. Um, they make the weather, they help the weather be created. Precipitation. Well, the difference, the main difference between weather and climate is uh, weather is the conditions at any location at an, any given time, a short period of time. Weather is what's happening right now, 
weather changes day to day, hour to hour, sometimes even minute to minute. Uh, for example, uh, weather today uh, is not going to be the same as it is tomorrow. Uh, weather is happening right now. Uh, climate, on the other hand, uh, climate is the normal pattern. It's what normally happens during this time of the year. For example, um, climate con uh, condition, or includes conditions like uh, temperature, cloud cover, precipitation, but over a longer period of time. A climate in a desert is usually warm and dry. It uh, doesn't mean that it can't rain or it can't snow, uh, but I know uh, most people th uh, think of a desert as being uh, dry and sand. Uh, it happens at times, though, that it does rain in a desert. It does snow in a desert. Um, Wisconsin's climate in the winter is usually cold, and this year it was pretty cold and snowy, and it was pretty snowy. A couple years back, uh, the winter was real dry and fairly warm, uh, but our climate overall, winter is cold and summer is warm, uh, usually. So um, it, that's about it. Uh, so hopefully you got out of there uh, about albedo uh, being uh, the ability of a substance to reflect the light of the energy from the sun. Uh, lighter color things have a high albedo. Um, darker color things have a low albedo. Uh, they absorb more energy. Low, uh, low albedo uh, ratings absorb energy. High albedo uh, reflect energy. Greenhouse effect is basically just how the clouds and greenhouse gases hold in the heat uh, that's being reflected off the surface uh, and sitting back in the space, but it gets caught up in those gases and then reflects them back down towards Earth. Works like a greenhouse. It keeps the heat in. We need it to happen, um, otherwise we, we get too cold. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we don't want to get too warm, so we can't have too much, too many greenhouse gases. Um, and the last thing, differences between weather and climate. Weather's happening right now, this point, this spot. What's the temperature? What's the wind? What's the uh, air pressure? That's all weather. What's happening right now? Climate is over a period of time, over a long period of time over seasons, over years, um, year after year, this time of year is like this. Uh, last year, April, we had 70 degree temperatures. This year, we barely made it up into the 40s. So um, just keep those things in mind. And that's it.